That child that the devil trying to kill and take out of here, that's the one God got a calling on. Y'all to go help me up in here. So that's why I'm going to encourage the parents tonight to tell you to be encouraged and know, praise God, that the fruit of your womb is blessed. That you got to promise and tell the devil that my children belongs to the Lord. My seed line belongs to the Lord. That if God can save you and snatch you out the street, he can do the same thing for your seed. You ought to tell somebody, I said, don't give up on your children. Amen. Don't give up on your children. If you want to say it, don't give up on your children. Don't give up on your children now. Amen. So I'm almost done. So here it is. Now if God would have chose one of the kings or one of the priests that was in the temple or even somebody that was older, amen, it could have been credited. Somebody that the nation respected to go and prophesy to them or speak as a mouthpiece. Some people would have gave that person the credit. But looking on the outside at Jeremiah uh -huh. and then to hear uh -huh. the profound words uh -huh. that was coming out of his mouth uh -huh. and the things that he spoke came to pass. Uh -huh. And the wisdom, they said when Jesus was in the temple teaching, the people was astonished uh -huh. by the wisdom that uh -huh. oh, yeah, at the age of 12. Oh, y'all ain't gonna talk to me. God does things totally contrary to man. He takes the very one that don't look much on the outside and blow them up on the inside to blow somebody out. Hey, Lord, I wish I had some I wish I had some out. I, 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 I just give my only person this speech here. People crazy sometimes, too. And. This woman just thought she was doing me a favor, was doing me a favor. A boss, I know you understand. She said, do me a favor, do me a favor. I'm going to bring it down to my conference. I give you about 10 minutes. You know, children are fake. You know, let go put you on the conference. I give you about 10, 15 minutes. We have to do a little something, something. I said, okay, I'll be down in 10. If you give me 15. You know, you know, big time, you know. You know, and, and I'm not boasting on me now. I'm talking about what God would do. And so, you know, they had the little crew cars up there because you only got 15 minutes. So as you up there preaching, they let me have five more minutes. You got two more minutes, yeah. You know, you know, I was sick and I was barely back to speak that day. And then we drove down there. They tell you we drove down there. <coughs> the Holy Ghost came up in that place and took me. <laughs> she gave me 15. But God sent a whirlwind in that place. In about two minutes, the church would flip upside down. The crew guard lady, the crew guard lady, she told her to drop them cars. She moved that pool and said, baby, go for what you know. I said, no, I ain't having 15 minutes. Y'all have to kill me. <laughs> and then the lady that was her sister came up to me. Oh, pastor. Oh, you just don't look like you got all that in you. I would say, that's what y'all get for sweating down on these little country girls that y'all think ain't nothing. Amen. Because God can use people just because people don't know them on TV and ain't got a big name don't mean they ain't got no power. Matter of fact, the higher you got, you lost your power. Oh, I wish I had somebody else here. The bigger your church, that ain't God ain't in there. The more money you got, God done left there. So I might be a little country girl back here in the country, but I know who God is. You got more in you than what meets the eye on the outside. Almost done. I'm almost done. Almost done. Called me back the next time and told me, gave me a whole service. <laughs> Call me back the next time. Want me to go to the, uh, the, the conference sheet? I ain't going this year now. All right. Amen. Why? Because God, amen, don't judge you from the outside. People judge us from the outside. He told Samuel, he said, no Samuel, he said, man, look at the outside. He said, but I, God, judge the heart of a man. So all of these big, fine, nine feet tall, busted boys in Jesse's house, I have not chosen them to be the king. He said, but that is somebody out there in the field, a little rude boy, small, don't look like he got too much, got a small frame. But when you look in his heart, you see that he got a relationship with me. I come to tell somebody tonight that whatever you do, you better hold on to your relationship with God. You can lose a house, you can lose a car, you can lose a man, you can lose a woman, you can lose some stuff, but you better not let God go. Because with God, you can get another house, you can get another car, you can get another man, but without God, you
and don't let go. You may not have a whole lot of money. You may have a little go front church. You may be over in these small towns. And people are already trying to block ball and shut folks down from seeing you. But as long as the Holy Ghost stay in the atmosphere, as long as the Spirit of God still moves, amen, because look at somebody the only thing that matters is God is still with us. Let's get cozy. Somebody say yeah. Jeremiah is like a lot of us. When God called him and when God chose him, he immediately felt that he was incapable. And inadequate for the job. God, I don't fit. I can't do this. Look at me. I'm too young. I'm this. <laughs> right like all of them big time people up there. Yeah. <laughs> 